right now we're taking a live look at the Nuggets Clippers game. The Nuggets and the Clippers were one of my favorite robberies um, in, in NBA basketball to watch when I was in eighth, ninth grade. Um, for all of you guys that don't remember, when the Denver Nuggets had Ty Lawson, Danila Galadari, Wilson Chandler, and the Clippers had Blake Griffin, Chris, I mean Chris Paul, and DeAndre Jordan, like. I mean, the Nuggets, the Nuggets and Clippers today could be a rivalry. It's just not as much a rivalry. Like, like because back in the 2012, 2013, 2014 seasons, like, these teams used to have battles. Like, and I would watch the standings the next morning on NBA game time, sometimes getting ready for school, sometimes on the average weekend before chores. And I would just sit there that morning and watch how guys like Randy Foy and Evan Fournier and, um, what was this other guy's name on the clip? And Mo Williams would have, like, game-winning three-pointers to, like, 110, 120 to, like, 117, 115. Like, these teams used to go at each other's throats. So, like, whenever I think Nuggets Clippers, like, it just takes me back. Like, I just look at those teams. Like, those teams, those teams could really be bullies in the Western Conference. And they are. It's just that now it's not the same – it's not the same, you know, dog fight as the Clippers are up by 20. Not to say that the Nuggets aren't doing their best. So far, the Nuggets are doing a good job, you know, <laughs> not being down by 20. But, <laughs> you know, we, we've got one quarter of basketball left. This third quarter ends in about not even three minutes. So we'll see what happens in a minute. I like the Clippers additions. They got Marcus Morris. They they got um, Marcus Morris. They have um, Reggie Jackson. Uh, you know the Clippers bench was already the Clippers bench was already like legit, but now their bench is like their bench is good. Like I appreciate what Colin Cap. I mean what Colin Coward. Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I appreciate what Colin Coward said earlier about the Clippers going to the finals because I do think it's true. You know, everyone's saying, oh, Lakers this, Lakers this, LeBron this, Anthony Davis that. You know, you you can't, like, this is a team you can't hype. You cannot hype the Clippers. You cannot gas the Clippers. This isn't a team that you could just, this isn't a team that you could just one day babble about and next day talk about you know how weak they are without this guy or that guy. Because see the Clippers, yeah, they low manage, yeah, Kawhi and Paul George weren't on the floor. But in that case, but even then the Clippers were still winning games. You know, it's not like without Kawhi or Paul George, the Clippers sunk the fifth or sixth. The sixth, like the Miami Heat right now, when Butler's not playing, the Heat are like in danger of like losing a postseason postseason seed right now. They're tied with Philly. For fourth place, they they might be going down the fifth or sixth if they don't correct their situation. But the Clippers is different. They're consistent with or without their best players, and that's the definition of the best team in the league. It's not necessarily who has the best teams, the biggest superstars, who has LeBron here, who has KD there. Look at the Nets. They got Kyrie and KD. Kyrie and KD are both hurt. Look at what the Lakers. I mean, the Lakers are on top of the. The Lakers are on top of the West, and LeBron was sitting out against the Warriors, but come on, it's the Warriors. They're, they're not gonna they're not gonna sit LeBron out against this Clipper team. I don't think the Lakers are gonna ever play the Clippers, and LeBron's not playing. But why? Because he knows that the Clippers is a team that can win even without their best poison. But against the Lakers, they're gonna need their best poison, and 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 they're still gonna win with it. Like this Clippers team is not gonna be denied. And, and that's why I like them. And they don't need, and they don't need a 15-time All-Star to not be denied. Now the Nuggets. I'm just gonna say this: very young, very talented. They're very hard-nosed. They got a lot of talented bigs. I, I just feel like Denver. You know, I look at this Denver team, and it's like they're always missing something. The Nuggets are always missing something. This year, they can't guard the three ball. They can't stop teams from going to the line. And in the playoffs, that's going to hurt them. But right now, I'd give Denver a shot at 
you know, at the second or third round. Like, this Clip Clippers Nuggets, you know, if the Lake, you know, if the Lakers go on a slump, or if LeBron gets hurt, or dare I say it, if the Clippers or Nuggets or a team just over, or one of these teams overpowers the Lakers in the second round, this right here, this could be the Western Conference Finals matchup right here. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not just saying that because last year I was telling everyone I wanted the Bucks versus Nuggets finals just to not see the Warriors in the finals. I'm not being biased right now. This could be the West finals. These two teams right here. This could be it. And if it happens, remember my voice. But if it doesn't, remember, I'm eating my words. Remember, I'm not eating my words. I'm saying it could happen. But if it does happen, you know who the, you know who to thank. ISC D. Henson. D. Henson. But again, don't thank me because I'm not making a solid prediction yet. I'm just saying, this is what we could see in the, the in the last Western Conference series before the NBA Finals. Everyone's saying you can't really count out the Lakers. Don't count out the don't count the Lakers out of the Finals. Don't count the Lakers out of the Western Conference Finals. I mean, we've seen what this team is about. We've seen what this team can do. But the Lakers haven't made the playoffs with with their best players yet. The Clippers made the playoffs without Kawhi and Paul George last year. Remember that. The Denver the Denver Nuggets made the playoffs last year before the players they got this year. Remember that. The Lakers weren't there. So so that's why I'm looking at these two teams. Like these are the these are the big these are the big dogs. These are the rough riders. These are the two teams that could be going at it for the West. The Lakers could go at it for the West too, but again, we always want to talk about experience, right? We always want to talk about those guys have never been there. These two teams were there. These two teams were there, but see, here's the thing. These two teams were there where no one wanted them there. No one wanted to see the Clippers in the playoffs. A lot of people didn't want to see the Nuggets in the Western Conference Finals or even in the playoffs at all, but what did they do? They exceeded expectations. As for tonight, though, the Nuggets are going to need every minute of this fourth quarter that they can get. They waste, again, if the Clippers, if the Clippers, I'm not going to say again because I didn't even say it the first time, I'm sorry. The Clippers go on one scoring run in the first three minutes of the fourth quarter, and it's over. The Nuggets find a way to get the Clippers within 10 or within five points, and Denver has a shot. Fourth quarter at the six minute mark, if the Clippers are still up by 25, it could be over. Because I Denver used to be that clutch team that could come back in the last minute in those last moments, those last dying moments. They're not really that clutch team anymore. This is a team that's built to win through the game, win within the second and third quarter. They're not meant to struggle the whole game and win in the fourth. Not to say that they can't, but they're gonna need a hell of a game plan and they're gonna need a and they're going to need a hell of a way to stop Kawhi, stop Paul George. There's too many guys on this Clippers team that you have to stop. And, and that's my case about them. That's my case with them. You know, I think the Clippers are probably the only team in the West that has more than three or four players that have to be targeted on the NBA court. The Houston Rockets, you got Harden and Westbrook. The, the Lakers, you have LeBron James and Anthony Davis. The White Howard offensively, the White Howard offensively can offensively he can be a bit lazy sometimes. Defensively he gives it his all, but we all know offensively he can be lazy sometimes. On the Nuggets, you've got Jamal Murray, who you have to stop, and Jokic you have to stop. With the Thunder, you basically just have Chris Paul. The Clippers, you got Kawhi, you got PG. You got to make you got PG and you got to and that's not even counting the big men. And then you you gotta. It's it's just too much for it's just too much going on, in in Clip City right now, man. It's too much going on in Clip City right now. It's way too much going on. Well, the Clippers game is on commercial. Let me look for my remote control because the quicker I can find this remote, the quicker, I, <clears throat> the the less I'm gonna have to. Okay, here we go.
No, I can just exit this. And from here. PNC Bank has technology to help make banking Well, easier. while I go look for some look for some scores via ESPN on television, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off again for again for um what's the word I'm looking for? For oh yeah, for professional purpose, I'm just gonna make this make this video no longer than twelve minutes. No longer than twelve minutes. So after this, I'm gonna have my um my hoops on the night, my little my little update for you guys. I'm gonna go on ESPN, ESPN two, see the college scores, see the rest of the NBA scores, and we're gonna have more live looks at the fourth quarter of this Nuggets Clippers game. I have CD Hansen. Be right back. Don't go anywhere. Click to that next video that's coming up right now. And if you haven't, go watch that last video and all the other videos that I posted yesterday because I posted some good stuff yesterday. I'm not gonna lie. Check it out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe to Insane Sports Comedy Comedy Channel. And don't forget to subscribe to ISC underscore D E E H I N T O N on Instagram.